Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Louisville Cardinals and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Number 50 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. Here's why this guy is so good. He's a sound offensive player that can do a lot of things well. When you add this incredible athleticism to that, it makes him very hard to contain. The Tar Heels will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Tar Heels are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his clock. Secondly, try not to give up any good looks from the outside. Lastly, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. In and out. Thinks about the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Down inside, the power forward receives the ball. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. North Carolina are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Now trying to... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the outside, they go into the low block. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. The Cardinals go to the line for the first time in this game. He makes the first shot. Got him both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Shooter spotting up on a three. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action.
Fakes the shot. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to feed the low block. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Number 22 is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The small forward handles the feed. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The center receives the pass for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Those long arms trying to get it in front of three quarters. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody's happy, including the school mascot. Well, the mascot's doing a little dance, baby, celebrating on the jubilation. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Tries to get the D to bite. And it takes great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. Nice little jam right there to one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Jumps in. Louisville are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. There's the trap. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. That's a 13-0 run. Gave it up. The shooting guard handles the pass. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Great play to take that to the basket. He uses the shot fake. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They push it up on the break. Gets a hand in the way. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. He's his crime. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Dribble gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The ball goes out of play. First half update again. Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player. What do you think he's doing so far? Well, I think he's got to respond like he has, but his teammates have to respond. He's carrying the glove. Nobody else is stepping. I think they're all becoming like the Gonick man, taking pictures of him. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. Steals a pass. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. It Gets the rejection. Here's a flash from the post up high. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. It's a fast break possibility. That was a beautiful alley-oop. He called for it and then went up and put it down. Picture perfect, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. The Tar Heels often recruit really athletic players, and they aren't afraid to travel the globe to find them. Well, you know, I'm not sure if they recruit them, but there always seems to be a few of them on their roster. See who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. The skip pass is picked off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. up the tray. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious.
There's the fake. Number four, pump fakes. And he'll kick it back outside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Looking for a good shot. He strokes it way off target. He takes a three. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. For two. Perfectly executed. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Here's a double team. Gave it up. Tries for two. Goes. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. And he missed. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number 22 takes it away. Goes up for two. North Carolina have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Stolen away. He quickly brings it up court. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 9-0 run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Takes away the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Roll that replay ready, boys. Take that to the basket. Dump it inside. Shots there if he wants it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first, initially, he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. He rejects it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up fake. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Picks off the pass. Team now, bad angle. Stolen away. They get out on the break. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. a foul. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. High post flasher is open. On the dribble, gives it up, looking for contact. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They work it back to the outside. From way outside, he drains the shot. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside. Got a wide open look. Obvious foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is Lynch. He goes to the line. Hits the first. Makes the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Third one is good. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Look at that spacing. Three. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Number 
Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Let's it fly. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Now he's on fire. At the end of the first half, the Cardinals are up by 12. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? This dunk right here dazzled the folks in the cheap seats, baby. I hope we see more of the same in the second half, Brad. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. North Carolina carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Set that screen away. He unloads. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has blocked, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They'd like to get inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working around the perimeter. Kicked off. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The Cardinals are ahead by eight. Up and inside. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Puts it up looking for contact. Easy one. The Tar Heels are trailing by ten. And he'll kick it back outside. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. With the J. Good for two. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. It's stolen. They're off into transition. There's a slam. He intercepts it. He fires from long range. Way off target. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He squares up down on the low block. 
I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He strips him clean. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And his shot rejected. They'll work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw some contact. The lay -in. Dumps it in. Intercepted. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Tar Heels are behind by seven. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Picks off the lazy pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle day. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. post player flashing he attempts the three he gets the shot to fall <laughs> trying to draw the foul Louisville are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. hey they're really starting to click on offense Leans in, gets it to fall. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the line. First one is good. Low free throw 
Astros go. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't find them the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. In the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He bombs from outside. Questionable shot selection there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picked out of the air. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Up and inside. There's a double team right in there. Turnover City that will always really negate any off. He blocks the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Moving it around the perimeter. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They'll work it around the arc. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. He intercepts it. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Jumped in front to take it away. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. On the outside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He tries the three ball, gets it to go. Nice high post screen. Perfectly executed. Watch the replay, Brad. Pump fakes. Here's a double team. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Goes up for two. Makes it. Picked off. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That's a seven-zip run. He intercepts it, pushes it up. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15. With a rejection. Makes the block. Fakes a jumper. Ball moved back outside from down low. And the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Ten seconds to get a shot off. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. And he goes with us and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's open if he wants the shot. Should have basketball help one another communicate. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. That's a 10 zip run. It's good. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Let's get back to the action. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Jumps into the defender. Louisville. They have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. going nowhere ball going stolen nowhere. it's going the other way that's where it's going turnover city baby gotta eliminate those turnovers he draws a foul oh that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog dick i'll tell you the mascot so sad it reflects their play high post flashes entry pass in the paint good job defensively they run it up into transition. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. For two, can't get the shot to go. Oh, yes. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. Defender right up on the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Pick up the defense here now. 
Way off target. Jumps in. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. He's got to get rid of it. Steals a pass. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny up the ball. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Picks off the pass. This game's out of reach. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Tries for two. Up and in. Intercepted. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. Tries a three. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. He takes the shot off the baseline. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. In the paint. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. He launches a three. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Gave it up. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Foul charge. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. 
Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow he's got some room he goes for three the Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple North Carolina loses in this very well matched game they had a chance to win this one against a comparable team but they ended up defeating themselves Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.